can still see Cassiopeia over there. I'm going to try and get some snowscapes, which I'm kind of looking forward to. The Milky Way is that sort of direction. So on this trip, it happened to be the coldest night of the year. Coldest night in 26 years in fact. But so cold that hoar frost was able to form, as you can see on this fence. My clear outside app predicted low temperatures, but they're always off a few degrees. So it was in the double digits below freezing most of the night. Boiling the water turned to steam instantly. I'm up at Murray's Hall Golf Course near Skin. It is minus 10 up here, so it is freezing. You could probably see Maybe a wee bit of ice on my, my buff, start to ice up a bit. But as you can see we've got clear skies, hence the cold temperatures, and a lot of snow. So that's why I'm going to try and get some snowscapes, which I'm kind of looking forward to. The Milky Way is that sort of direction, but there's light pollution over there from Dundee and I doubt I'm going to be actually able to get the Milky Way detail. So I'm jumping about the golf course because it's, you know, loads of trees, loads of open area, Lots of snow, clear skies, so I'm just jumping about getting loads of different shots, so I'll show you some shots and that. Hopefully my Sony batteries can last a wee bit long. Anyway, I better put the camera back in the bag, warm up a bit and jump around and find more shots. So my first location tonight is just a wee scene with some snow, a few skinny trees and some stars. It is the Milky Way area, but the Milky Way is still a wee bit too low on the horizon, so we're not getting much detail out of that. So, my equipment that I'm using for tonight is the Sony A7S with the Samyang 1.424mm. By far, my favourite astrophotography um, lens. It is just unreal. The video footage you can get of it, well, that's live, that's a live view. So, the settings I use is 5 seconds at f.4 at 800 ISO. Because the landscape's so bright with the snow, I don't need to do a long exposure. So, that's pretty much the settings, and we'll snap away. So I'm here at another location, um, at the golf course. There's less snow than I thought, but there's still enough to cover some most of the trees. We've got a nice snowy bunch of trees here with a thin bunch of trees there, and then some, just some bright st stars. I think one of them's the Neb, quite a bright star, near the center, the core of the Milky Way. So I'm gonna shoot that. I so, one th I've gone up to 1,600 because I just, want to get a wee bit more exposure because I can always take it down but I can never get more if you know what I mean and only still five seconds it just reduces noise and all that so I'm excited for the outcome I've, I have got the 14 millimeter 2.8 that's a fantastic lens but it distorts quite a lot at the sides so I'll use that for wide angle shots but just now I'm happy with this setup Welcome to a snowy Perth shower. You can see, where is it? Cassiopeia over there. I love that constellation, it just looks a bit, it just looks awesome, like a W shape or an M shape. Uh, the Milky Way arch is rising over there, but you can't really see it because of the light pollution. The light pollution is a bit of a pain here, just because Perth's only literally four miles away. So it's quite a relatively large town, city, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. It's minus 10, but 
it doesn't really feel like that when you're jumping about with a camera running back and forth into shots so yeah it doesn't really feel like that but it's lovely to see a nice winter landscape finally past few winters we've not really had it so it's good for us photography wise so i've just found this awesome composition i think it's probably the best one today it's just a bunch of trees but they're just lined up perfectly and they're all covered with snow it just looks awesome i'll show you it on the camera There we go, you can see that. It just it just looks nice. It's just nice and complete. So yeah, that just looks awesome. Still with a uh, 24mm Samyang, but I have took a shot with the 14mm of just more of the stars and it looks awesome, so I'll show you that. But well, this setup is just unbeatable. The Sony A7S and the 24 1.4 Samyang is just, you can't beat it, it's just the best. So I've still got another about hour of nighttime of dark skies, so hopefully get a few more. I got a nice one of a wee pond. The pond was all frozen over and there's trees and then Cassiopeia was over it. So that, that might look actually quite nice. Some really good foreground at a golf course, but the golf courses are pretty photogenic when it comes to snow and stars, just because it's such a wide open area. And luckily there's dark skies here, better if the northern lights were over there, that's where they would normally be. You can still see Cassiopeia over there. It really doesn't feel that cold actually. The Milky Way is over there, but it's still hidden by that lake pollution, it's just not really breaking over the light pollution. You can also make out the Andromeda galaxy in this image, and if you want to locate the galaxy for yourself, use Cassiopeia as it helps point to its direction. So I've just found probably, oh, excuse me, one another brilliant composition. This place is just full of them. It's just a normal, it's like a tree with a bench hut sort of thing. There. See, it just looks awesome. It just makes for such a good picture. Anyway, you can kind of see the picture just in raw there. I really like that. So that's my settings just now, six seconds. ISO 1600, and that's f1.4. And it is bitterly cold, and you know, it's quite thick snow. But really happy with this. My camera's not failing yet, touch wood. It's doing not bad. I think that's me exhausted the place now. I've got loads of pictures, I'm well happy. I just stopped at this final tree on the way back, but it just, there's a bright star. I think it's the neb, I'm not sure. Right above it, just like a Christmas tree star, pretty much on top of it. It's just really simple. A wee bit of snow on the ground, one tree and one star. But yeah, I think I've exhausted the place now. Getting a wee bit cold, but it's still not as bad as really as I thought. Camera survived. It's still 50% on the Sony battery and minus 10. So I don't know what's up with that, that's doing really well. But yeah, I think that's pretty much me done. So hopefully you enjoyed all these pictures and all the settings and what I pretty much do on a night like this. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Cheers. I've just stumbled across another wee cool composition. It's just of a little burn with a wee bridge going over it and there's not been anyone over there so it's just nice clean fresh snow there's not much in the sky above it but the foreground kind of does it justice happy i came across it and i'm glad no one stepped on to that bridge i've just came across this awesome foreground i've shined my light look at that snow 
little waterfall and then stars up there. Try and focus stack, so I'll need to focus on that first, take a few pictures, stack them to reduce the noise, and then after I've done that, focus on the stars, take a few pictures, stack them, reduce the noise, and then we should be left with one cool image. It's going to be a portrait, so it'll look like that. Hopefully it works, and my editing skills are up to scratch. I also captured this image, and this was with a 14mm Samyang, so it got much more of the scene in. And the trees at the top kind of frame the picture just even better, so I like this one as well. Anyway, I'll leave you with more pictures of the night, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Cheers! <laughs>